in this video we are going to discuss some problems on the generalized logarithmic rule by using the chain rule let us look at the first problem we need to find the derivative of y with respect to x of y is equal to log 7x square in the solution we will write down the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of log 7x square if y is equal to log x then the derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x. However, in this case, y is equal to log of an expression 7x square. So we cannot use the formula derivative with respect to x of log x which is equal to 1 by x. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression 7x square. By assuming that x is equal to the expression 7x square, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of log x. So the derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x or 1 by 7x square. Since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 7x square, we need to again differentiate the expression 7x square with respect to x. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 7x square is equal to 7 times derivative with respect to x of x square. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. 7 times 2 equals 14. x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x. By cancelling 7 in the denominator with 14 in the numerator, we have 1 by x square times 2x. Again by cancelling x in the numerator and x square in the denominator, we are left with 2 by x. So the answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 by x. Let us now look at the second problem. y is equal to log of x square plus 5 by x square minus 5. In the solution we will write down derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y which is equal to ddx of log of x square plus 5 by x square minus 5. Since there is no formula to find the derivative of the log of an expression, we are going to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x square plus 5 by x square minus 5. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of log x. The derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x or 1 by x square plus 5 by x square minus 5. Since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x square plus 5 by x square minus 5, we need to again differentiate the expression x square plus 5 by x square minus 5 with respect to x. Using the quotient rule, the derivative of the quotient of two functions x square plus 5 by x square minus 5 is equal to the denominator x square minus 5 times the derivative of the numerator x square plus 5 minus the numerator x square plus 5 times the derivative of the denominator x square minus 5 divided by the denominator x square minus 5 raised to the power 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square plus 5 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x square plus derivative with respect to x of 5. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square minus 5 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x square minus derivative with respect to x of 5. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 5 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 5 is equal to 0. x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1. Or we can simply write x. x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x. Let us now multiply the expression x square minus 5 with 2x. 
1 times 2 equals to x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 equals x to the power 3 minus 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. Again, let us multiply the expression x square plus 5 with 2x. 1 times 2 equals to x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 equals x to the power 3 plus 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. By clearing the brackets we have minus times plus equals minus 2x cubed minus times plus equals minus 10x. Now positive 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed can be cancelled out. Minus 10x minus 10x is equal to minus 20x. So divide by dx is equal to minus 20x. x square minus 5 holding square divided by x square plus 5 by x square minus 5. Converting the division into multiplication we have dy by dx is equal to minus 20x x square minus 5 holding square times x square minus 5 by x square plus 5. Cancelling x square minus 5 in the numerator and x square minus 5 in the denominator we have by using the algebraic formula of a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b we have x square minus 5 times x square plus 5 is equal to x square to the power 2 minus 5 to the power 2 x to the power 2 to the power 2 is equal to x to the power 4 5 square is equal to 25 so the answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus 20x by x to the power 4 minus 25 let us now look at the third problem y is equal to log of 4x by 2 plus x in the solution we will write down derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of log of 4x by 2 plus x now since we cannot find the derivative of the log of an expression 4x by 2 plus x we are going to use the chain rule let us assume that x is equal to the expression 4x by 2 plus x by assuming x is equal to 4x by 2 plus x we can now proceed to find the derivative with respect to x of log x the derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x or in this case 1 by 4x by 2 plus x now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 4x by 2 plus x we need to again differentiate the expression 4x by 2 plus x with respect to x by using the quotient rule of differentiation the derivative with respect to x of the quotient of 4x by 2 plus x is equal to 2 plus x times the derivative with respect to x of 4x minus 4x times the derivative with respect to x of 2 plus x divided by 2 plus x raised to the power 2. By using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 4x is equal to 4 times the derivative with respect to x of x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of 2 plus x is equal to derivative with respect to x of 2 plus derivative with respect to x of x. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 2 is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Let us multiply 4 with the expression 2 plus x. 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 4 times x is equal to 4x minus 4x times 1 is equal to 4x. By clearing the brackets we have 8 plus 4x minus 4x. Positive 4x can be cancelled out with negative 4x. 1 times 8 by 2 plus x holding square is equal to 8 by 2 plus x holding square. So divide by dx is equal to 8 by 2 plus x holding square divided by 4x by 2 plus x. By converting division into multiplication we have 2 plus x in the numerator can be cancelled out with 2 plus x in the denominator. 4 in the denominator can be cancelled out with 8 in the numerator. By doing so, we are left with derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 
by x within bracket 2 plus x. So this is our final answer. Let us now look at the fourth problem. y is equal to log of x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2. In the solution, we will write down dy by dx, that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y, which is equal to d dx of log of x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2. Now, since there is no formula to find the derivative of the log of an expression x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2, we are going to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2. By assuming that x is equal to the expression x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2, we can now proceed to find the derivative with respect to x of log x. Now the derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x or 1 by x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2, we need to again differentiate the expression x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2 with respect to x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum or difference of two or more functions is equal to the sum or difference of the derivative of the individual functions. So the derivative with respect to x of x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x minus derivative with respect to x of root of 6 minus x plus derivative with respect to x of 2. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. Again, since we cannot find the derivative with respect to x of the root of an expression 6 minus x, we are going to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression 6 minus x. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of root x. Now, the derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression 6 minus x, we need to again differentiate the expression 6 minus x with respect to x. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 2 is equal to 0. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of 6 minus x is equal to derivative with respect to x of 6 minus derivative with respect to x of x. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 6 is equal to 0 minus the derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Minus times minus equals plus 1 times 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x is equal to 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x. 1 times 1 plus 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x. So the answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 root of 6 minus x divided by x minus root of 6 minus x plus 2. Let us now look at the fifth problem y is equal to log of x plus root of x square plus a square. In the solution, we will write down derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y, which is equal to d dx of log of x plus root of x square plus a square. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function. The derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x. Now since we do not have a formula to find the derivative with respect to x of the root of an expression x square plus a square, we are going to use the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x square plus a square. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of root x. The derivative with respect to x of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or 1 by 2 root of x square plus a square. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x square plus a square, we need to again differentiate the expression x square plus a square with respect to x. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum of two functions 
is equal to derivative of the first function plus derivative of the second function. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 plus. Now a in this case is a constant parameter. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of a square is equal to 0 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x 1 times 2x is equal to 2x. The constant 2 in the numerator can be cancelled out with 2 in the denominator. So the answer is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 by x plus x by root of x square plus a square.